Hello, my name is Stephanie. Thank you for joining me for yoga. Let's get started with some time in. Come to the very front of your chair. Make sure that your feet can be planted firmly on the ground and you've got enough of your chair to feel supported, but not so much that you feel like slouching back. Sit up long in your spine, shoulders gently melt down your back. This is called sunshine arms with ocean breath. As we inhale, reach hands out to the sides and upward look up, palm to palm touch, drag your thumb tips down to heart center as you exhale. Again, sunshine arms, reaching big, spreading your arms like the rays of the sun, touch palm to palm, drag your hands down to heart center. One more time, adding ocean breath, sunshine arms reach out and up, inhale. Exhale with the sound of the ocean through your mouth. Again, please two more times, sunshine arms, inhale. Ocean breath, exhale. Last time together, breathe in. Palm to palm, breathe out. Pause for a moment here, come back to a neutral breath. Let your hands rest down on your lap. Nice work. What is yoga? Yoga is an ancient practice that comes with a tradition and a history that is inspired and informed by the rhythms and shapes and relationships in nature. When we study yoga, we take in some of these relationships and these shapes, and they help us learn more about ourselves and more about each other and the world around us. Have you heard of yoga? You might have seen a yoga studio in your neighborhood, or maybe you know someone that goes to yoga, or maybe you've practiced some yoga yourself. For our yoga practice together, we'll be doing yoga a little differently. For us, our understanding of yoga is the union of breath and body and mind. Anytime your breath and body and mind are coming together, we're practicing yoga. The word yoga actually means union. To illustrate this point of union, come on down to the floor with me. I have a little example. All right. I have three blocks. If you'd like to follow along with me and do this metaphor yourself, you can grab books or any other stackable item. This is you, body, breath, and mind. And today is a beautiful day. It's a day off. We get to sleep in. Ooh, open your eyes to greet the day. Whoops. It's not a day off, it's a school day. And not only are the dates mixed up, but we're late now, oh boy, that doesn't feel good. So we rush to get ready, maybe we're on our way to the school bus or catching a ride and we're late. Oh my goodness, okay. So that doesn't feel good, even more so. Continue rushing, we're seated on the bus, we got a spot, thank goodness, and then realize homework got left on the kitchen counter. That's starting to feel actually kind of terrible. So we get to school, we drag ourselves into the classroom, overslept but still tired, thought we had a day off, we actually don't, and thought Maybe we could just get through it, but as it turns out, now we have to tell the teacher that homework is not done, not ready to turn in, and oh, it's the second time this week this has happened. Now this is you. Body, breath, and mind. This doesn't feel like we can connect with our friends. 
this doesn't feel like we're getting ready to learn. This doesn't feel like anything really could happen in a way that is nourishing and long lasting. So we call on our yoga practice. We get back to our seat, nothing has changed, but we have this power inside ourselves to do something about how we feel inside. Back to your seat, feet on the floor, breathing deep. And maybe you don't wanna do the full sunshine arms and ocean breath, but you think it in your mind. You take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Slowly coming back together. A few more deep breaths. And what starts to happen is mind, your mind comes back in alignment with your breath and with your body. You're reconnected, practicing yoga, practicing union. That's the benefit of yoga practice in a very practical, everyday sense. It's not all about just rolling out your mat and being super calm all the time. Yoga, the practice of union of body, breath, and mind can be used anytime you need that inner connection. Come on back up to a seat with me. We'll get started with some yoga poses. All right, let's take one more sunshine arms, ocean breath here. Come to the edge of your chair, feet planted, arms sweep up as you inhale, palm to palm, exhale, open mouth. Nicely done. As we move through the yoga postures today, I might ask you to take a breath with me. If that doesn't serve you, please feel free to breathe in your own rhythm. Remember, this is a practice for your body, no one else's body, your breath and your mind. What works for you doesn't have to work for anybody else. And what works for me doesn't mean that you should do it too. Come on up to the side of your chair. Standing in what we call mountain pose, strong and tall, rooted like a mountain. Feet planted right about under your hips, spine nice and long, shoulders neutral. Let's let your hands turn to the front where you're looking and then palms face your legs again. Last thing, let your head float at the top of your spine as if there's a string connecting the top of your skull to the ceiling. Same thing under your feet, as if there's some kind of root system growing out of the soles of your feet through the floor, keeping you anchored. Three breaths, please. One more. Awesome. We'll step out now, one step away from your chair, and then maybe one more step out from your chair. Your feet are now much wider than your hips, toes still pointing forward, arms out to a T-shape. This pose is called star. Let's try it with palms down for one breath. All right, palms up for one breath. Now you choose palms up or down. One more breath. Great, give your arms a little shake out. Let your shoulders relax. Your chair side toe, please turn towards your chair. Feet are still fairly wide. This one foot, my back foot is pointed out to the side. The chair side foot is pointed straight towards my chair. Arms out to a T shape again. Shift your hips toward your back foot a little bit. Reach in the direction of your front foot. Tilt your arms to catch the seat of your chair or the back of your chair or the top of your thigh. Top hand, reach high to the sky. Feel 
a little stretch as you reach, reach, reach. Gaze goes to your fingers. Take another breath. Untip your triangle. Bend into that front knee. Arms out to a T-shape again. Take a look at that front knee. Make sure that knee is right over the middle of your foot. Too far and it'll start to feel a little wobbly and a little like too much work on your thigh muscles. Not enough bend and it's not quite a lunge per se. Take your knee, put it just about over your ankle, maybe right over where your shoelaces would be, and arms out to a T-shape again. This is called warrior two. Look over your front fingers. Three breaths, please. Nice and easy. Unbend that front knee. Turn your toes back to star. One breath. Nice work. Hands on your hips now. Heel toe your feet back together until you can step comfortably back to mountain. One breath here, rooted feet to the ground like a string coming from the crown of your head reaching up to the sky. Come on over to the other side of your chair now for the same poses on the other leg. Starting in mountain pose to get grounded. One breath. Now your chair side leg will stay the same. Your outside leg steps out and then steps out again. Check that width. Feet are markedly wider than your hips but not so wide that you feel unstable. Chair side foot, turn toes toward the chair. Your back foot is still going in the same direction, about a 90 degree angle. Reach your arms out to a T-shape, tip your arms to catch bottom hand to the chair seat, the chair back, or the top of your thigh. Soft in this front knee, please. Reach your top hand to the sky. Take three deep breaths. If you'd like to move your hand to any of those other locations, please feel free to do what supports you. One more breath. Untip your seesaw. Bend into that front knee. Arms stay wide, please. Look over your front fingertips. Remember, front knee goes no farther than where your shoelaces would be, right about the middle of that foot. Two more breaths. One more breath. Keep your gaze steady. Unbend your front knee, please. Shake out your arms if you like. Turn your toes to face front. This is star pose. One more breath. Arms out. Hands to hips. Heel toe your feet together until you can step comfortably back to mountain. Arms release. Shake out those legs. That was a little different body position than perhaps you might find yourself in naturally over the course of your average day. I don't often find myself randomly in this position. So if it feels like maybe you're a little tired, it feels a little unfamiliar, that's okay. Come on to the back of your chair now. We're gonna hold on to the chair back. This is just like mountain pose. We're just touching the back of the chair for some support. Soften both knees. One foot will stay planted. Take your other foot back behind you. Turn your toes out. Bend into your front knee and just do a little balance check. Does this feel stable? Would I like to widen my stance? That is make my feet further apart from side to side. Would I like to shorten my stance? That is feet closer together front to back. Or does where I started feel okay? Just check in with yourself for a breath or two. Okay, try this. One hand off the chair to your hip. Other hand off the chair to your hip. Stay bent in that front knee, please. Maybe one hand reaches up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Other hand reaches up to the sky. 
Bend into that front knee a little deeper. Gaze straight ahead. One breath. This is warrior one. Both hands to the chair back again. Soften into both knees. Step up. Okay. Other side. Plant your feet. Other foot will stay in place. Take leg back. Turn toes out. And here's that check. Here's where the yoga is your practice and no one else's. Where would you like to have that foot placed relative to your front foot? A little wider, further apart side to side. A little shorter or longer stance, further apart front to back. Find the place that feels most supported for you. Now, one hand to your hip. Bend into that front knee. Back knee stays straight. Other hand to your hip. Both hands up to the sky. Go as slow as you need. Maybe one at a time. One breath. Hands back down. Soften both knees. Step up into mountain. Okay. Next pose is a balancing posture called tree pose. You might have seen tree pose. It's very commonly photographed. So... Come to the side of your chair, hold on to your chair back. Take your other foot, tiptoe, turn it out, set heel to inner ankle. This is already a balancing posture. Feel yourself lined up over your standing foot. If that goes well, maybe one hand comes to the sky, maybe other hand comes to the sky, Okay, both hands down again. Gonna move that floating foot up to about calf muscle level. Push foot into leg, leg into foot. Your standing knee, please stay a little soft so you're not locking that knee. If that feels okay, maybe one hand goes to the sky, maybe other hand goes to the sky. Hey. Tree pose. Both hands back down. Turn that knee in. Shake it up. Put it down. We're going to the other side of the chair for the same posture. Tree pose on this side. Hold on to the back of the chair. I like to put my opposite hand on my hip for a place to put it. It's like a holster. You can put your hand in your pocket. My recommendation is that you just have some place where you always put it so you don't have to balance that thing also. Chair side foot stays the same, outside foot tiptoe. Turn it out, heel goes to your ankle, pause and breathe. All of your body weight, all of your balance is realigning over your standing leg now. One hand up to the sky, other hand up to the sky. Uh-huh, take a breath. Nice, both hands down. Can you try a different feeling with that foot up on your calf? If that feels unstable at all, take this version of tree. If it feels like, yeah, this is the way that feels enjoyable for me today, try this version of tree. It's a different feeling, same pose. One hand goes up to the sky now. Other hand goes up to the sky now. One breath. Two hands down. Turn that knee in. Shake it up. Standing in mountain. Try this with your eyes closed. One breath. Rooted down and rising high. Great work. Come back down to a seat with me. Sit on the edge of your chair. Not so much that you feel like you're slipping off, but not so far back that you feel like slouching. Feet right about under your knees and firmly planted. Hands rest on the tops of your thighs. This is a pose. Mm-hmm. It's called easy pose. It's pretty easy. We'll be here for three breaths. Because our bodies are doing something fairly simple, 
that brings the practice more deeply into our breath and our mind. As we take these three breaths, feel your breath, feel your mind together in union. You might close your eyes or keep them open with a soft focus. Like you're not really looking at anything in particular. You're allowing the colors and the shapes to appear softly. Hands stay on your knees for this next posture called rainbow spine. The shape of a rainbow is an arc. Spine will be in that same shape, going to the front and going to the back. You can watch first if you prefer. Shoulders roll back, chest stretches forward. My gaze goes right about where the ceiling meets the wall. Then I curl back, spine in the other direction. Heart reaches back, chin goes to my chest. I'm rocking my hips on the seat of my chair as I breathe and spine shifts back and forth. Join me now. Take a deep breath and exhale, rainbow spine to the back. Inhale, rainbow spine to the front. Eyes go right about where the ceiling meets the wall. Again, exhale, spine rounds to the back. One more inhale, spine stretch to the front. Come back to neutral, let your hands rest again. Rainbow spine, great work. Twisting postures, keep your bottom stuck to the chair so no shifting around happens from about here down. Roll shoulders back, spine nice and long. Pull your belly back just a little bit for support, that's it. Breathe in, exhale. Hand to opposite leg, free hand goes behind you. Another deep breath. Exhale, twist, use your hands gently for a little bit of leverage. Look over your back shoulder, one more breath. Inhale to come back around, release your hands. Shake out your shoulders, maybe shake out your legs. Okay, other side, plant your feet. Your seat is nice and anchored, so no shifting around from here about your waist down. Opposite hand to knee, free hand goes to the chair behind you. Deep breath in here, pause. Exhale. Now we're gonna move, deep breath in. Exhale, twist, look over your back shoulder. Great work, take another breath. inhale release your hands back to center all right we're about at the rest and relaxation portion of yoga practice this is time at the end of every practice where we allow our bodies to integrate the new learning that we've taken in for the whole class if you have a desk in front of you Fold your arms and rest your head on your forearms. If you're like me and you don't have a desk in front of you, scoop back a little bit until you feel your seat firmly on the chair. And you can walk yourself down stepwise. I'm gonna fold torso over my thighs, or if you like, roll down with me, chin to chest. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, keep rolling down, shoulders slump. This is like a mega super slouch. Chest continues slumping, head is very heavy. Now belly starts to roll forward. Now we're hinging at our hips. Let your hands rest wherever they rest, might be on your shins, on your feet on the floor, wherever you come to rest. Breathe in your own time. If you like the ocean breath feeling, exhale through your mouth. Feel free to do that. 
If you prefer to stay with a neutral breath, feel free to do that. To come out of this posture, we'll roll up slowly. Get your hands on your legs for some support. Keep your chin to your chest to protect your neck. Feel your feet on the floor. Push yourself back into your chair, bottom, low back. Now start to roll up belly, moving chest, upper chest. Roll shoulders back up, long spine. Last thing, chin comes to neutral. Blink, blink, blink your eyes a few times. To continue this rest and relaxation, you can either come back to resting your forehead on your arms on your table, or come with me down to the floor for legs up the chair. This is my personal favorite, favorite, favorite pose. Start by sitting on the floor right in front of your chair. Whatever way feels good to you to roll onto your back and get your lower legs onto the chair seat. Once you're there, relax your spine as much as you have access. So for me, that takes a little wiggling, I have to move my shoulders around to get things in just the right position, but once I'm there, it feels really nice. So it's worth the investment. Take your time getting settled here. Toes, reach them back towards their own knees and feel how that stretches the lower legs in a different way. If you like that, you can stay there. If you prefer, just let your feet be kind of floppy. Hands can be alongside your body or resting on your belly. If it's comfortable for you to do so, close your eyes. Or pick a spot to look at and let it go a little blurry. Unfocus your eyes so your gaze is soft and your eyes relax. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. As if you're falling asleep, let go of all thoughts. Just feel your breath. With every breath, you become more and more relaxed. This is a progressive relaxation. I'll name a body part and say inhale, and you'll tighten only that body part. When I say exhale, you'll release and relax the tension in that body part. Beginning with your feet and only your feet, tighten, squeeze those muscles, inhale. Now exhale, release, and let that tension go. Moving now to your legs, your shins, your calves, everything below your knee. Inhale, tighten, tense, squeeze, and exhale, release, let go. Now your upper legs, your bottom, your hips. Inhale, tighten, squeeze, tense. Exhale, let go, relax. Now bring awareness to your torso. You might pull your belly button into your body. You might squeeze the muscles of your chest. Everything in your torso now 
tighten, tense, inhale, and exhale, release, let go. Now bring awareness to your shoulders, your neck. You might pull your shoulders up towards your ears. Take a breath in, tense those shoulders, tighten. Exhale, release. Now bring your awareness to your arms, your forearms, your biceps, your triceps. Inhale, tighten your arms. Squeeze them into your sides. Exhale, release. Now, put your focus on your hands. Make tight fists. Squeeze your fingers together. Squeeze, inhale. Tighter. Now exhale, release, let go. Now bring your awareness to your face. Pucker your face, squeeze your eyes, your lips, your eyebrows. Inhale, tense. Exhale. Release and soften. Last round. Bring your awareness to all of those body parts. Feet, legs, hips, torso, shoulders and neck, arms and hands, face, tighten, tense your entire body. Now exhale, let go, release. We'll pause for a few moments, feeling that sense of release. Continue breathing deeply, slowly, continue letting go. In a moment, we'll transition out of this posture. Take another deep breath, please. And exhale. Wiggle your toes. Flex your fingers. Slow. Roll to one side, push yourself back up to a seat, and we'll come back to seated on the chair. Feet planted, hands to your legs, roll shoulders back, one more breath in easy pose. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me for yoga today. My name is teacher Stephanie, I'll see you next time.